Hey guys, today on our Zulu Tech, I'm going to be showing you how to use OBS to record your screen. Now, if you're familiar with OBS, you may know that it is a streaming program, meaning that you would use this program to broadcast a live stream to, say, a Twitch channel. Now, you can also use this as a pretty good uh, screen recording program, which works great for games and screen capture alike. You can even, you know, record um, things like movies with this program as the output file is not too large. So it also comes out as an MP4, which is pretty much universal and very easy to edit with um, like top line software like Premiere Pro I found. So anyway, once you download it and install this program, which shouldn't take much time at all, there is a link in the description by the way, just open it up, install any updates if there are any. And the first thing you're going to want to do is right click in here and add a monitor capture. Now, if you're also going to be doing game capture with this program, I'd suggest you also add a game capture as that will make it so that anything that may not be picked up by the monitor capture will be picked up instead by the game capture. Now, you may run into the problem where the game does not show up and it's just a black screen, even though you have game capture set. Uh, in this case, you might just want to move this up by just deleting this one and then putting it back on later. So uh, I'm not sure if it has an order of any kind, but I've just heard that before. So uh, just some information for you. Now, to set it up to record locally to your computer, all you have to do is go to Settings, Broadcast Settings, and by default, it's at live stream. Now, we don't want it at live stream. We want it at file output only. Once you've done this, go ahead and push apply. Now, go ahead and go into encoding. Uh, for screen capture, I recommend anywhere from between 6,000 KBS to 12,000 KBS. Um, those seem to be pretty fair um, for like medium and high end recordings. And with the audio codecs down here, uh, probably 128 ACC at this is just fine for most users. Of course, you can turn up the bitrate if you want. All right, so after you've done that, go ahead and make sure you apply the settings in there as well. Then you can go into video, choose some things like resolution and frame rate. Once you've got the settings in here, how you like them, go ahead and push apply. And then the last thing is with audio, you can set up your microphone, set up the volumes for certain things at a push to talk hotkeys, all that good stuff. And when you're done setting this up, you'll also want to push apply. Now, you can also take a look at the advanced options in the microphone noise gate, although these are more advanced and not necessary to record your screen with. Um, you can go ahead and take a look at them if you're curious, but I mean, it really doesn't matter in the end. All right, so now that you've done all that, go ahead and push OK. You're now set to record your screen with OBS. It's that simple. Now you can preview your stream to make sure it's working by clicking the preview stream button. And it'll bring up this uh, little thing here. Right now I'm streaming. Well, actually, not streaming right now. I'm recording to my desktop, but it still says streaming for some reason. Uh, I guess the programmers just didn't change the button icon, uh, but it doesn't matter. So when you push that, you get a little thing up here, even though it's not recording, and it shows you, you know, make sure everything's working all right. And then to stream, you just got to push to start streaming, which will be right here. And after you click that, of course, it'll say stop streaming. And when you click stop streaming, it will stop streaming. Of course, it's not streaming, it's recording. Bleh. Yeah, recording. Every time I say streaming, I mean recording, because we set it up to record. And uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. Uh, so I hope you guys thought this video was helpful. And if you did, you know, go ahead and put a thumbs up on this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, check out the playlist, check out my channel. And if you want to be kept up to date, uh, bleh, kept up to date when I make videos, uh, just go ahead and subscribe. You know, it's free. And you'll be, you know, kept up to date with all the great content I bring you guys. So we'll see you guys next time.